Hi class, today we're going to be reading the story about Inky the inchworm. And as you're looking at this picture, I am wondering what you think the story is going to be about. Is this going to be a type of story that has events in order, like this happens first, this happens next, this happens last? Or is it going to be a story that has a problem and a solution? When I look at this picture, I look for some clues and I see that maybe Inky in Inchworm is not feeling very happy. So I'm thinking that he, this story might be about his problem. All right, let's begin. Please and remember to watch for the letter I in this story. There's lots and lots of eyes all over Inky and we're gonna find out that the I says eh in this story. So listen for all the words that start with eh or the letter I. All right, here we go. Once upon a time, there was an inchworm named Inky. There were many things in Inky's life that made life impossible for him. This is the story of Inky's troubles. Oh, so we were right. I think it's stories with lots of problems. Inky lived in an inn, and an inn is another word for a hotel. It's kind of like a hotel. Anyone would think an inn would be a nice place to live, but it was not nice for Inky. The inn was full of other insects, and when Inky became upset with their creeping and crawling around, he would shake his hands and say, Icky, Icky, Icky. So everybody shake your hands and say, Icky, Icky, Icky. And the eye starts, the insects start with an eye. Also staying at the inn were infants, and infants are, is another word for babies. And these infants, they cried and they fussed all the time. When Inky became upset with their noise, he would shake his hands and call out, Icky, Icky, Icky. As if the insects and the insect infants were not enough for poor Inky, there was a band that played instruments at the inn. My, the noise they made was intolerable. That means it was just awful. When the instruments disturbed his days and nights, Inky would cry out, Icky, Icky, Icky. One afternoon, while Inky was imagining what life would be like without insects, infants, and instruments, an important Eskimo named Ivan walked over to him and asked, What's the matter, little inchworm? You look so sad. Inky told Ivan how the insects, infants, and instruments were making his life so impossible. Ivan and Inky said, Icky, Icky, Icky. Then Ivan told Inky about an interesting idea that he had. Inky and Ivan went outdoors and began to collect blocks of ice. Together they built a special place called an igloo. It made a lovely home for Inky. It was peaceful and quiet, and there were no insects, infants, or instruments to disturb him. Inky thanked Ivan for helping him by inviting him into the igloo for ice cream. Inky lived happily ever after in his igloo, and that is the end. So I want you to try and think of in your head the three problems that Inky had with where he lived and what the solution was to his problem.